the meeting. Uh, we'll start with the Santa Cruz Libraries Facilities Financing Authority uh, Board meeting. Uh, we have roll call. Tina Flynn. Here. Rosemary Menard for uh, Martin Bernal. Here. Jamie Goldstein, absent. Uh, Carlos Palacios. Here. Thank you. And do we have any additional materials? No. There is the large printout of the library timeline for your edification. Okay. Um, do we have any oral communications? Okay. We'll go to executive director's report. Um, I have included an update on projects. Um, as you can see, we've started to move forward more aggressively with the Capitola project, which we're very happy about. Um, and um, Felton is coming along swimmingly. If you look at our schedule, it looks now like we will be um, closing the Salva Beach on September 1st, closing Felton, um, the small church, on November 1st. Uh, opening Felton, we're hoping for a January 25th <coughs> open. Closing um, Boulder Creek in February. And opening La Selva Beach in uh, June 1st. Um, I think our stress point at this point will be July 1st, 2020, where we're supposed to open Capitola, <coughs> close Aptos B40 Garfield Park, <laughs> all in the same month. So um, we're working on that choke point. Okay. I uh, just want to say the friends continue to raise funds, and I'm very grateful for all their efforts. Okay. Um, that can, any questions on that? Uh, we'll go on to uh, item number public, six. Uh, yes. Public comment on director's report. Is that on the uh, Sure. Go ahead. Thank on you. Thanks. It's a little awkward to talk to the board because most some backs are to me, but I assume that you can hear what I'm saying. I, I'd like to direct your attention to page three of the director's report in your packet. Uh, this is a mistake. It's about the downtown library. You have that where uh, Susan talks about the uh, status of the downtown library. It says that the uh, city Council established a subcommittee to review the proposal for a mixed-use building. Period. This is inaccurate. This is misinformation. The City Council on May 14th established the Library Subcommittee to review the project and to include review of the uh, renovation of the downtown library. And Renovation doesn't appear, Susan, in this. And um, the city issued in June 26 an RFP for a downtown library renovation cost estimate. I mean, the subcommittee is now reviewing those proposals. This happens a lot. This is very disheartening to the public that it may be an inadvertent bias on the director's report uh, part but nevertheless, it's a biased information. And it's not just myself. There are 133 people that found out about this in an update. And it's disheartening to continue to see this. It's disheartening to see in the news that the director has called this library shabby, that James Lee, the manager, refers to it as asbestos riddled all the time. This is misinformation. We are in a library, an informational venue here, and I really want, going forward, to have information, not misinformation, put out before the public. Thank you for listening. And I just want to apologize. I think Jean's right that uh, their scope is to look at the renovation as well. I still stand by that this library is shabby. <laughs> Any other comments on that? Okay, we'll, we'll move on to project updates and comments by board members. Is there any comments or updates on projects? I can talk about Scott Stallings a little bit. 
So okay. I am new in my role, and so one thing I'm relishing is taking over our the renovation Scotts Valley Branch will have. So I've done a tour of the branch with um, the branch manager as well as the, the friends of Scotts Valley, so getting to know the greater community. And, and, and I'm also connecting with Bogart Construction, who's going to help us with just the sequencing and the, the work and managing the plan. So our immediate priorities are the roof and the HVAC system, and we want to get that um, fixed, repaired, changed out before the winters come. So that is the, the primary focus of our efforts now. We're working getting some bids for the roofing and going forward with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are also some other exterior need, needs that have been discussed with the paving and bike racks and some other fixtures exterior to the facility. And then some things interior for sure, including a circulation desk and some other furniture needs. So our immediate priority is working on, on the exterior or the roofing and then moving into that. So I, I don't have an estimate about when we will get um, um, an RFP out for that work, but we are, it's now an active part of our work plan, which I'm very happy about, and Susan's smiling at me too. Um, and then I'll also say one other thing that is somewhat related is that uh, contiguous to the library facility within the same building that used to house a skating rink, we have some open space there. It's just basically a concrete shell, and it's been under lease with a the theater guild, uh, which hasn't come into operation. We put out an RFP yesterday to see if there are interested parties in leasing that space from the city of Scotts Valley for a use, and, and our council is preferring a use that will be community benefiting and complementary with the library. So of course I've spoken with Susan about it. So that just went out yesterday. So we will hopefully get results back in about a month and then be able to proceed. But that will, you know, could impact the library, so I'll make sure the board's apprised of that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, we'll go on to the consent calendar, item number seven. Uh, are there any comments on the consent agenda? There are none. Uh, can I have a motion or any questions? I'll move approval. Okay. Back in second. Okay, thank you. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, that passes unanimously. Uh, we'll get to general business item eight. Uh, item A is engagement letter for audit services. Uh, recommended action is to accept the engagement letter for audit services pages 9 through 11. Edith Driscoll, your um, treasurer, we bring this to you each year <clears throat> as we begin the audit process. Um, the audit firm that we use is the same one that the County of Santa Cruz is under contract with, and I believe this is our last year, and we'll be going out for RFP again, and then we'll be speaking with you to see if you want to be included in the RFP as well. But this is really just, excuse me, <coughs> a notification to your board that the audit is beginning and uh, the document's included and, and we recommend approval. Okay, any questions? Any comments from the public about this item? Are those, are those available to the public? At the the RFPs? No, the audit. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. It wasn't in the packet, but I assume. They're all online as part of the packets. Okay. Can I speak to that? Sure. Um, th this is the beginning of the audit. The audit isn't actually completed yet. And so upon the time that it's completed, we present it to the board, and it's part of your agenda at that time. Okay, can I have a motion to approve this uh, engagement letter? I will so move. Mm -hmm. The motion and the second. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Passes unanimously. Uh, um, we have. Um, one last thing but for the next meeting um, there is a subcommittee that will be meeting to discuss the bond issuance date okay and so we're looking forward to having conversations about that and that's something um, Tino will probably need to have a conversation with you about to make sure that you can cash flow the, the project perfect thank you <coughs> okay so uh, our next meeting is on October 3rd at uh, King's Village Road in Scotts Valley at the Santa Scotts Valley Branch Library. That will adjourn the LFFA meeting. Call to order.